billions of dollars and hours each year are poured into creating digital content and user experiences designed to dazzle the senses and provide a seamless experience for the population at large. But as far as neuromarketing experts are concerned, billions of dollars per year are wasted because large investments go into projects that just don't work well with the human brain. This can create boredom, distraction, frustration, or just a general lack of interest. My name is Dr. Cody Rall, and this is Tech for Psych, where we expand minds through neurotechnology. I've been using the Emotive Epoch X to track my brain waves in response to digital content. This headset uses machine learning to report different objective measures of my subjective experience through brain waves and measures to include engagement, excitement, and relaxation on a scale of zero to 100. We'll be watching different types of content and seeing how my brain reacts in real time. Today, we'll take a look at different pieces of entertainment content to see how the machine learning holds up to what's actually being seen on the screen. I'll watch some random TikTok videos, do a relaxation YouTube video, and then we'll take a look at the insanely popular Mr. Beast Squid Games video and how it influences my brainwaves in real time. Oh yeah. That's exactly what it looks like. Okay, so this is some random TikTok video about the surname Toad. This is the surname Toad. Now, you've seen videos from the early 2000s on the internet. I know I have. Yeah. The father pushes the eggs onto the back and a layer of skin grows on top of them and the babies just pop right out like little pimples. It's not as bad as it sounds, but it looks horrifying. My engagement started out relatively high in the upper 80s because I was curious, but honestly, after I get the gist that the live young pop out the back of the adult, my engagement score crept down from 89 to about 61. There's also not really any excitement in this video to speak of. And I'm not very relaxed either at a score of 12. So this video is a bit of a dud with all the metrics in low to mid range. Later in my TikTok session, I stumbled upon this video that really got me going. It puts a prank call over some random gaming video, which is a common format in TikTok to keep you entertained. This whole thing was a viral meme a way back that I had forgotten about, in which a WWE advertisement featuring John Cena was used for prank calls. As you'll see, I try to keep a straight face because if you laugh, it can contaminate the signal, but it was just too funny with this poor lady's reaction to the prank call. Okay, so we we have our starting metrics of engagement at 56 and excitement at 25. Pay special attention to the top two lines here as I realize what this is. I've never listened to this particular recording before, but had a faint memory of hearing about the meme. So let's watch. Hello? I have just one question for you. Are you ready? Am I ready for what? Who's this? Are you ready for this Sunday night when WWE champ John Cena defends his title in the WWE Super Slam? Right now, you can order this awesome pay-per-view event for just $59.99. I'm sorry, no, there is not any chance in hell that we're ever going to have wrestling in this house again. But thank you, but no. Have a good day. Okay, so there was this huge spike in excitement up to 65 and engagement up to 82 and staying elevated all the way up to 94 on this one. Hello? And goodbye to anyone standing in John Cena's way when he takes up six men in a steel cage shoots and ladders match at WWE Super, Super Slam. Slam. Order now and take $10 with a little low price of just $49.99. Sir, you guys just called me, and as I mentioned before, we're not ordering this, so please stop calling my house. Thank you and goodbye. And here, another spike off the charts of excitement all the way up to 100 because I just can't believe what they're doing to this poor lady again. And the engagement score is still riding up in the lower 90s. I have to mention too that there's definitely a little contamination in the signal from contracting my facial muscles because I'm trying really hard to keep a straight face. Mostly facial muscle contractions will affect the relaxation score, which gets its metrics from slower brain waves that can be mistaken for muscle artifacts. I do try to do a better job with relaxing my facial muscles on this next one. Oh man, why does this lady keep answering the phone? Uh, 
I swear to Jesus, if this is those wrestling um, f- again. Okay, good morning. Uh, hi, I'm just calling this morning to ask if you're a supporter of the United States military. Oh, my God, I apologize. We've been getting calls all morning. I, I apologize, and yes. Fantastic. Yes, I am. Great. Uh, are you a supporter of the Marine Corps? Yes, absolutely. Good. Absolutely. Great, because a former decorated member of the United States Marine Corps needs your support. And his name is John C. <laughs> Okay, big spike in excitement, up to 65 with her emotional answering on the phone. And then notice how it goes back down as they start to butter her up. But engagement is still high as I'm still waiting for the next unfortunate occurrence in this poor woman's day. And a final rise in all metrics as they get her once again. So how is all this possible? Well, Emotive as a company has been interested in neuromarketing since their inception nearly 10 years ago. They had people come in and do very well controlled EEG neuroscience experiments where they were having their brain waves collected while they did tasks of easy, medium, and hard difficulty. This determined different metrics of how engaged with the tasks they were. They were then able to validate that information through reaction time and test completion accuracy. And they also have this online program called Emotive Labs where qualified users of the Emotive system can log on, do neuroscience experiments from their own home, and help further validate their algorithms as a citizen scientist. Next, let's test a relaxing video to see what happens there with the emotive software. Welcome to the Daily Calm. Let's start today's session by finding a comfortable position. And taking one last deep breath before letting the breath settle the Calm app, we see engagement stays pretty low in the upper 20s. As I relax and close my eyes, relaxation goes from about 20 all the way up to 69 or 70. These are definitely metrics that can be used elsewhere besides just content engagement. All right, now let's take a look at Mr. Beast's Squid Games video to see how my brainwaves react to his content. I recreated every single set from Squid Game in real life, and whichever one of these 456 people survives the longest wins 456 grand. The first game we're going to play is Red Light, Green Light, and they have 30 minutes to cross the red line on the other side of the huge room. So without further ado, Green Light! For the Mr. Beast video, we see my engagement score spiking from 40 to about 77 as he does his classic high energy intro. It looks like I'm really getting pulled into the experience by listening to him explain the rules of the game. Notice that excitement remains low around 9 here. This shows us that excitement is often correlated with surprise or anticipation rather than the storytelling element. Red light. We see the excitement score do a quick rise up to 35 as the participants start to cross the room and I anticipate what might happen next. And as you can see, every single player has a device strapped to them that when they're eliminated, it pops. Uh, Chris, you want to have a chance at one? Red light. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh no! I, I know for sure this guy moved. Green light. Red light. Oh, yo, they're dropping. Okay, now some people are getting out. You gotta- there are little blips of excitement as people are getting out, but it stays pretty low. Watching people actually get blasted seems to affect the engagement score more at about 75. Congratulations on surviving red light, green light. Seeing the winners of the first game definitely got my excitement scores up though. So, if you look at this TV, you'll see that only 232 of you survived. If you look above your head, you'll see the $456,000 you're competing for. And now let's move on to Honeycomb. Oh, man. Oh, you sat. Oh, no. He sat early. He sat early. Carl did not stop the music. Bring out the coffin. I'm going to have to pop it. Man, that's such a sad way to go out. There was one point during the final competition that a participant sat down before the music stopped in musical chairs. You can see my engagement and excitement scores spike as I pay attention to what's going to happen next. It was a great journey. I loved it. It was so fun. Hop on in the coffin. All right, now you can't say this is scripted. (laughs) 
Good luck. Okay, the music has started. Three people, two chairs, one must go. Oh, oh. Keep it moving. No, you gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. It's pretty consistent that my engagement and excitement peak a little as the contestants are walking around the chairs. Oh, no! Yes. At the start of this video, we had 456 people, and now we're down to these two! Yeah! Okay. No! Yes! Yes! Oh, no. Yes! If it makes you feel better, I'm gonna give you $10,000 for coming in second place. Oh, you're kidding me. No. And with that 079, you just won $456,000. And officially won the very first Squid Game yes! in real life ever. Congratulations on winning. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. You have seven days to win $10,000. And obviously, massive shout out to the creator of Squid Game. We took huge inspiration from the show and I genuinely appreciate you. Goodbye. The final celebration definitely spiked my excitement score. It seems that the surprise of second place getting $10,000 actually spiked my brain more than seeing the grand prize winner shovel $456,000 out of the glass box. It appears to me that these algorithms are becoming increasingly good at reporting the subjective experience through objective measures of users watching digital content. Doing biomarker studies to see how people react to content is nothing new, but I feel like these mobile neurotechnologies with machine learning capabilities have taken things to a whole new level. If anyone wants me to come and demo this technology, take a look at my website and contact me at CodyRoll at techforsych.com. And if you wanna see how this emotive system falls into the marketplace compared to other neuro wearables, take a look at this video and I'll see you on the other side.